a shot of Jack straight up. I'll make that two her shots on me. Her shot's on her. Thanks, but no thanks. Don't you at least want to know my name before you completely reject me? I'm fine without it. You are fine without it. It's Jim, Jim Kirk. If you don't tell me your name, I'm gonna have to make one up. The idea is that Kirk has a character arc in it, sort of from charming, but jerk, to character who is, you know, still has some growing to do, but is mature enough and responsible enough to captain the Enterprise. JJ had really changed my cut a lot. He just kept saying, no, you're, you're making him too heal appealing. He should be really an idiot. But my argument was, well, Ahura is continuing to talk to him, and if I were in a bar, and this guy who's talking to me is is just acting like such a jerk, I'm not going to continue the conversation. I'm <laughs> he's got to be charming, or she is not going to continue to talk to him. So, you're a cadet, you're studying, what's your focus? Xenolinguistics. You have no idea what that means. Study of alien languages, morphology, phonology, syntax. It means you've got a talented tongue. I'm impressed. We were locking the movie. I said to him something like, so you're happy with this bar scene, right? And he said, I don't know. Because he kept making it shorter, and it wasn't fun, and she wasn't fun, and Kirk wasn't fun. And he kind of said, Let, let's just look at that old cut that you had. And so we pulled it out and kind of ended up going with the old cut. Nice ride, huh? It's yours. Four years? Do it in three. We do see that total transition, right? He's cocky as hell outside with Pike, bragging about how he's going to complete the Starfleet Academy course in three years. And then the minute he steps onto that, to that shuttle and sees everybody else, we see the smile fade and the discomfort. He almost puts it on like an overcoat. And then he looks over and realizes that Uhura has probably seen all of this. Where'd you get that first name? Somebody else on the show said, why aren't you showing Uhura? You know, it'd be so much fun to, more fun to know that she was watching him the whole time. And I just said, you know, I would never cut it that way because it's, an, it's taking the omniscient point of view. It's so much more fun to see him go through all these uncomfortable steps. And then the cherry on top of the cupcake is realizing that Uhura was watching the whole time and probably saw all these things.